We're on the air already. Well, you know. People you know, you're sitting there drinking really your happened. coffee, people cracking like your knuckles, our hair talking down. to yourself. You're talking to your friends. You got your haircut. Yeah, well, I have fans here. How many fans do you have today? You notice the haircut. Well, come, they come all it's the way nice up from, from Raleigh, North Carolina. Rick Winock and his son, Al, who's Division One basketball player for UNC Asheville, by the Rick way. Rick played at Buff State, right? Rick played at Buff State. He was an all-Western New York player in 1985 with Canisius. That team included, by the way, Ron Torgielski, the UB baseball coach. And his brother, Rick, Rick, I believe, is on that team. And who else do we have? I don't remember the other three. I'll come up with the other three before the end of the show. I used to be able to name them just right off the top of my head. Getting old, Sully. You are. Jeff Taggart, he was another player on that team. Oh, the late Jeff Taggart. Yep. So he ended up at Canisius, former Lackawanna. Uh, Sully. But enough basketball. Enough basketball. Let's talk the NHL. I'm taking Tampa. I'm going to take that five right back from oh, me. Oh, no, you're not. You're taking the Rangers, though. I'm taking the Rangers. I'm taking them in seven. It's going to be a tight series. There's an interesting storyline there, obviously, with Marty St. Louis. He's going against his former team, Tampa. He was upset with Steve Eiserman because Steve Eiserman didn't pick him for Team Canada in the Olympics that you covered, Sully and Sochi. So he has a little bite in his game. It'd be nice if he had any goals on his stick. How, by the way, he hasn't scored yet. Uh, and then Ryan Callahan, the Rochester kid, he's going against the Rangers. It's pretty rare that you see captains get traded. But that happened. Callahan, Callahan by the way, is coming off an appendectomy. So that's a problem, obviously. He's not going to be at full strength even if he plays. But if you want to go ahead and take, your, take the bolts and your boy Ben Bishop and goal, you go right ahead. I'll take Lundquist. I just think they're fast and deep. Their top two lines, I think, will make the difference. And I, I think that there's a point where goaltending isn't the be-all and end-all, which you seem to think it is. It is the be-all to end-all. If you think that quarterback is the most important position on the field in the NFL, you can double it for the NHL. That's oh, how that's, big that's just goaltending ridiculous is. Fuck. I mean, it, the goalies are a dime a dozen. There's like 30 of them they are about equal now. And then they have a couple of good true. years. I know Lundquist is, is head and shoulders above some, a lot of them. But this, that, that whole notion has been shot down in recent years. Teams don't think you need the, to pay big money to a goalie to win. You, you need you it. You think the it's bigger than quarterback? Seriously? You need it in the playoffs. Yeah. Do you, where do you put pitchers? So, so I can make a What's statistical more argument. What's more important to you? Pitchers in baseball or quarterbacks in football? Well, starting pitching is the most important thing. Okay. Then take... But they don't pitch every fifth day. But goaltenders to me are like closers in baseball. 90% of what they do, everyone does. And it's like 1% difference between average and very good. That is not. Now, when a guy's at 960 like Lundquist, well, let's see if he's 960 in this series, all right? We, you, we got a bet going. We do. Ben at, Bush, Bishop is fine. Ben he, Bishop he's is at 944, by the way. Bishop's at 931, save percentage-wise. Lundquist, his, his goals against average is a little bit better, and, and he's behind a, a team that's better defensively. In the playoffs, when these goals are really hard to come by, it's about making the big saves. Lundqvist is a guy that's played in a ton of big games. He's a terrific goal. To, he's due to win a Stanley Cup. Bishop could get a little rattled, and I think that, that the Rangers have enough uh, firepower up front to, to get him off of his game, and we're going to find out. We are going to find out. They're going to play the games. You know what? They're going to play the games, and then there's going to be results of the games, and then when they add up the results of the games, you're going to be paying me 5 bucks again. That's how it's going to go. I think I'm ahead on the bets overall, including right. the football thing for an entire season and the, and the NCAA tournament. The big ones, right here. You okay, win these yeah. little bets. Yeah, you keep betting. Why don't you go to Vegas and see how that works out? We're not going to bet on the Blackhawks, Bo. No, we're not. We agree on the Blackhawks. Oh, I but you, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. I, part of me is tempted to take the Ducks because I took a much, much closer look at them today. And I've, I've watched some of the sides. games. No, 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 no. Blackhawks are going to win. In fact, I said they're going to win in six. And I think they're going to win the series in six games. Having said that, Corey Perry, he, he's lighting it up. And I, we've, on this show, have given it up to Patrick Kane, and Patrick Kane deserves it. He could win another Conn Smythe. He probably would have won the MVP this year. But Corey Perry has been superb for the Ducks. How about Getzloff, Getzloff and Taves in it's the same matchup. series? Are they the two best? Do you have one of the top defensive forwards against one of the better offensive players? I and will two say stars this, that though. know each other. Remember a guy named Brian Bicko? I do. Who had like nine goals a couple years ago and seven. I mean, he was just the playoff guy of those years that rises above his regular season stats. No goals. Which, watch out for him. He's going to have at least one big goal in this series. Watch out for Hosa. And how about Brad Richards? Those guys had one goal apiece coming into this series. One, so, I mean, they're bound to get going. If Taves is busy taking care of Getzlaff, you get those two guys going, plus Kane, Blackhawks at six. 
All right, Sully, we need to take a break. Then we're going to come back and final wrap up here on the Bucky and Sully Show.